Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are just around the corner from my birthday and I thought that this would be the perfect time to show you guys the Korean seaweed soup. It's considered a birthday soup, I think, I was told so. But basically it's just um, seaweed, broth, tofu, and then I add um, shiitake mushrooms to it just to add it a little bit of like that earthy flavor to it. But yeah, it's super easy. It does take a little bit of time only because you're soaking things for a while and then you're cooking it for a while, but the actual process of it is actually very, very easy. So um, I have this pack of dried seaweed and we're only gonna use a little bit because once you soak it in water, it does expand quite a bit and I'll show you in just a little bit. But yeah, so we'll use this. And then I have my dried shiitake mushrooms. I have a block of tofu. And then I don't have vegetable broth on hand that I made at home. Um, so I'm just using the canned vegetable broth. But you can also use water because this has a lot of flavor already. Um, vegetable broth kind of enhances it a little bit, but it's definitely not necessary. You can get away with just water for this. Right, so let's get started.
Alrighty guys, so that is it. This is what it looks like. I don't want to spill it, but I tried to use a, um, a glass bowl so you can kind of see inside of it. Um, this, you can actually eat it by itself, just the way it is. It's so flavorful and it's kind of has that like warm, comforting type of feel to it. Um, very, very hearty because of the mushrooms and the seaweed itself. Um, but you can also eat it as a side. I grew up with my mom pretty much going, being very, very elaborate with dinner. <laughs> well, I think it's elaborate, but I guess that's kind of culture wise. She would have like a bowl of soup. She would have something savory, like a braised vegan chicken. Then she would have like something fried. And then uh, there would also be like a vegetable dish with rice. And so I kind of grew up with that. Um, so I like to serve like soups with rice and something savory. It's not quite as elaborate as my mom does, but yeah, my daughter will eat this with, uh, like I said, braised uh, vegan chicken is one of her favorite dishes. So she'll eat that with the rice. Um, um, but yeah, I hope you guys give this a try. It's, it's so comforting, um, I guess. I was told that Koreans eat this kind of soup for their birthday. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but I know that it's super healthy for you. And I know that it's super comforting. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys give this a try. Uh, please let me know how it goes if you do. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you have any comments, please leave it down below and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay. Alright, what you got? This is a Korean seaweed soup. So it's seaweed, mushroom, tofu? Mm-hmm. And veggie broth? Yep. <gasps> seaweed. Mmm. <laughs> Do you like it? Kinda reminds you of miso soup. I was about to say. Yeah. Miso soup. Miso soup. Um, but I like that there's seaweed in this. You know, time you go to a restaurant, you never get seaweed. <laughs> you get broth. <laughs> um, but it's not salty. It's not very salty at all. And but is it flavorful? Is very flavorful. Mushroom is very subtle, but it has gives it like a nice texture. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I do. It's really good. Thank you. You're welcome.